a blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people welcome back welcome back to another video thank you all for checking this one out all right my people so in this one i just want to talk a little bit about a couple of things that we need to get right um for our t20 world cup campaign now we saw the team going up against australia we lost that series 2-1 the third game showed us exactly what we would love to see or what we would like to see from the players on a um, regular basis right batsmen going out and setting some good runs on the board and the bowlers following up and you know defending that total now after after the series we realized that a couple of our players that we expect to be um important players in the t20 world cup we realized that most of them they have returned to their franchise teams in the ilt20 league and they have hit the ground running right people that weren't in any form any at all so the conversation has been raised where people are saying listen the ilt20 league is not as competitive as going up against australia not as competitive as some of the other t20 leagues so you find that the players that we see hit the ground running it doesn't necessarily mean they are back to their old ways in terms of regaining their form and I, I definitely agree with that, right? You know, having a one or two good innings in the ILT20 doesn't mean that you're you are back to form. Um, what I would say though, or what I will say, is that playing in the ILT20 league right now is probably better than no cricket at all, right? While, while we, we, we hear the conversation that these T20 leagues, you know, they are mashing up our cricket and our cricketers are not really focused because of these um, leagues. Going into a T20 World Cup right now, I, I would almost prefer that the players are active than, you know, just waiting for the World Cup or, or waiting on our CPL or, or, or whatever the case is or even the IPL, right? What, what I want to really zoom in on now is a couple of things that we definitely want to see straighten out before we we, 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 we we say we're hosting this World Cup. Well, we're hosting the World Cup, but before we have our first game. Now, a couple of the players that are very, very instrumental to whether or not we will do well in this World Cup. Right? The position, the opening slot, we have, we know that Brandon King is, is the, the opener that they are working with now. And we see where recently they have... Um, Rotated between Johnson Charles, Kyle Mayers, and I don't know if by then Evan Lewis will come back in. You know, this is T20 cricket. I don't know a man might go to have a blast and then, you know, he's back in. But the, the, the opening slot, right now, I think they are leaning towards King and Charles. Right? That is going to be a very, very important for us, my people. Just as how. We like to give away 60, 70 runs in the power play. <laughs> that is how our batsmen need to look at it and say, listen, our bowlers often time give away a certain amount of runs in the power play. So we need to we need to try and maximize as best as possible. Obviously, going in everybody going try and the players going try and do and, and do what they can. So people that go and say that if you think cricket is easy and if we have played international cricket, that don't, you know, we not really that don't really make any sense. What we are saying is they are they're already there you understand now we know that some of the players that they are going up against they are some of the best in the world we like to we like to throw the word uh, um i refer the phrase world class around right as soon as we see one of our players um you know as soon as we see one of them put in a very good um performance we start to say they are world class and we don't remember that they are actually going to go up against world class players and what we need to understand when we say world class these are players that will consistently put out good performances right not one every six or, 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 or six months or not one every eight or nine game 
right? These are players that will consistently, you can, you can know that they will more likely to give you a good performance than not, right? Those are, are, are players that um, are performing at a high level. So we need, we need, we need to see the players um, really and truly um, repeating some of, of, of these performances more often, right? Um, so going into, into, into it now, my people, the opening slot, we, 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 we think we, we have it figured. The middle order now, the middle, the middle order against Australia was nowhere to be found. And that is where you have to win games. That is where you need um, guys to step up. We, we, we heard um, Ravman Poyle a couple months ago saying that guys like Nicholas Poor and Hitmeyer, when Hitmeyer was in the team, now it's Rutherford. We heard them saying that, listen, these are the guys that they are looking to bat majority of the overs especially to face up the spinners leg spinners and thing because of the you know the, the, the bat left handed and thing hit my eyes in there now it's rather full but what we saw against australia we cannot go into a world cup campaign like this you understand um we can't we can't go in like that so the hope is that nicholas puran ravman powell well he got a, a couple of runs ravman powell um, Shea Hope if we're using him uh, Rutherford came off in the last game Russell in the last game These are guys that they consistently need to score runs If we're going to make a good impression in that World Cup Right? This is where the bulk of the batting needs to, 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 to take place Right? If the bulk of the batting will have to take place right there um, from, from the top down to number 6, 7 I mean we bat all the way to number 11, you know. So this is not me saying that one, six, seven players out, you, you give up the ghost. No, that this is not me saying that. What I'm saying is, just like any other format, for, um, just like ODIs are tests, you expect the batsman from number one to number six to do the bulk of the batting, right? Some teams will play an all round at six, but based on how our team is going, we have guy we have rather forward batting there so you know you're expecting runs from him we're hardly using him as a bowler and we know he can bowl so he's basically in the team then as a um you, you would say as a specialist batsman right and sometimes we use the word specialist batsman or the first specialist batsman and people get in their feelings and say what do you call specialist batsman these guys are not specialist batsman people like um coley people like 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 poor and people like these are specialist batsmen but let me let me explain something if a guy started off his career as an all-rounder and he's now making the team solely as a batsman he is a specialist batsman what i used to to squash that argument is look at steve smith when steve smith made the australia team steve smith made the australia team as a leg spinner who could bat or at num you know he was batting at number seven Grant you that Australia team was stuck, yes, but he made the team um, mostly because of his leg spin. And what is Steve Smith now? Averaging 60 yard in, 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 in test cricket, if I'm not mistaken. Do you call him, do you say he's not a specialist batsman because he started out as, an, as a leg spinner that can bat? No. So it's the same thing. Ruffman, Poyle, Rutherford, all of these guys that we, we, we think they are all rounders because they, 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 can, they can do more than one thing. If they are in the team, solely or mostly because of one thing then then the my specialist Ravman Paul bowl one or two overs every eight or nine or ten games right rather for we not see they using him so he's a specialist batsman so all of these guys there they will have to um they will have to uh go out there and and and, and really carry the blunt of the weight right so the batting my viewers and subscribers from one to six we see guys there that we think these are probably some of the best that we have in the region people will see it otherwise you understand there are a couple of guys that are not there now that people will say these guys are should probably be in the team and i i like to argue it right when they are on farm when they are on farm they perhaps some of the guys that are not in probably can rival some that we have in the team now when you look at the, the, the number six position, hit my or rather for it. You're going with the guy. Obviously, we are hoping that his form will return where he will take up a spot in the in the in the squad going into the World Cup. You know, he, he's a talented player that 
if if things not going too well at number six there for other four there, you, you know you can switch him in and out. It my is one of them players that a couple years ago we wouldn't be. I personally wasn't bit um, wasn't talking about it my uh, being a replacement or, 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 or coming in off the bench or whatever. I was always thinking that Hitman and Puran were going to be the two guys batting at three and four in our T20 team for the next eight, ten years. But we see that that's not based, that's not how it, how it is going. So we can't we can we can make spot for people like that. You understand? So rather for um so Hitmeyer is probably one that, that is out. Fabian Allen people calling for Fabian Allen and I, I always question um, he's going to make the team if he makes the team Fabian Allen you know if he makes the team you, you, you expect him to bowl four overs is he based on his bowling now is he going to make it over Moti or Hussein and they, they say well he can get in as a batsman are you going to play him ahead of um, are you going to play him ahead of Russell are you going to play him ahead of the captain Ravman Powell um, who are you going to play him ahead of because based on, on, on his role Right, as a poor hitter there. So he's one of them that, you know, when he's totally informed, we understand his ability in the field. I always say that man in the field can definitely save you 15, 20 runs sometimes, but the ball will not always, always go to them. When it got to them, you definitely want to know that it is going to somebody that will catch it, but they can't really pick a team like that. You understand, based on my opinion. Um, so that is how, that is how, how, Oh, I sorry my viewers and subscribers. This this boy in the back seat giving me a run for my money with the knives, eh? I um, hope you guys can hear me anyways. Boy, stop the knives. Um yeah, so that is how the batting is looking, my people. Right? Um Odin Smith is another one that was coming through. Obviously Romario Shepherd has um stepped up above him. Right? So that is how it is looking. Um if you're talking about the half spin spinner's position going in a couple of people might might be thinking get another get a, a half spinner some might say Rakim Carnival can do the job and open but Rastan Chase he has definitely opened our eyes opened the select well the selectors eyes were probably always open because he's always in the squad <laughs> to be honest but um if you're talking about half spinners Rastan Chase probably um is is really and truly building up something to to, 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 to stay in that squad for the World Cup um as you know as 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 much as how you know, we, we we are thinking that we, we might not need need um so many spinners, but that's how the the, the, the the top part there will go. Now in terms of the bowling, I have said it more than more than one time, my people, and I see some people in the comment section saying that I don't know anything because when a pitch is good for batting, a pitch is just good for batting. I I I will tell you that a pitch can be good for batting and. Batsmen, batsmen go, um, bowlers go here and, and outperform the, 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 the batsmen, right? That is how you, 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 you have world class bowlers. World class bowlers, they are the ones that, um, and, and, and I'm not saying we have, world, have many world class bowlers, but world class bowlers, they are the ones that will go out there and a pitch that is um, suitable mostly for batting and really um, deliver the goods, right? Just as how in the last T20 game against Australia, you would say the pitch was good for batting. We scored 200 and had, and, 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 and Australia weren't able to get over one, um, they got in the 180s, right? So that, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you're going to come up on a pitch that you expect it, they, they, they expect the batsmen to shine, but the bowlers will have to deliver. You understand? And, and that is basically how it went, my viewers and subscribers, in that final game there. So the bowling will have to come together. Right, um, Alzari Joseph. Hopefully by then he will, um, you know, get some rest and will be up and running. Uh, you're going in. You need at least one pacer. Shamar Joseph. We are going to be looking to see how he will deliver in franchise. Um, I see some people in the comment section saying that he is he's world class and he's 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 worth more than than what they, they paid for him in the IPL and it's because myself and some other people we don't value our, our own people. But me have one life people now in a sense. You understand? He, 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 he's a test. He played in the test format and he did extremely well, right? I understand that. But he hasn't been tested and proven in T20s. And they are saying 300 and at those US wasn't um, enough or isn't enough because because of his family situation. After people bringing you in their team, the business with their family situation, they're paying what they think you you you, you, you will you, you you know they they, they can risk. Now is the time that he, he will go out there and, 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 and prove that he's worth more. 
And I couldn't care less who think that I hate I am hating on the young man. A common sense may I use. <laughs> you understand? So um, hopefully he will deliver and will be added to the team. Right? And we have a couple of more, couple more um, that, that, that we need to work out and, and, and see where we go from there. So that is pretty much it, my viewers and subscribers. Quite a few more things to talk about. But we're gonna leave you right here so for now. Big up on yourselves, eh?